Hey guys, I'm back to do a first impressions on the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick. Now, I just picked this up from Target, and I'm really excited to be trying this out. Um, it reads a tube by the Environmental Working Group, which makes it low toxin, no parabens, no yucky stuff like that. The thing that really drew me in about this specific lipstick is that it is supposed to be 24 hour, up to 24 hour wear which I've never heard anything like that. Initially I was looking for like a lip stain or something like that. I really love their super lustrous lipsticks, the colors, the just like the creaminess of them, but a lip stain sounded really appealing to me. Um, and then I saw this and I was like, 24 hours, it's even better than a lip stain. So the color that I picked up is called Premier Plum. I'll give you a little close up of what it looks like. Um, so it looks kind of it's got a little, you know, it's plum. It's a little bit lighter or more of like a neutral plum than I would, I don't know, I guess I would expect. So the thing that's interesting to me about this product, uh, other than it's supposed to last so long, is that it's not matte. Like this has shimmer in it. So I'm kind of curious about that, how it's gonna go. Now it's the evening time right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. You can see my first impressions with that. I'll tell you a little bit about how it kind of feels on the lips. And then I'll also check in in about three hours and let you know how it wore through the night. It does say it's supposed to last 24 hours though. So if you guys wanna see like a full on 24 hour type video, then um, leave me a comment down below. All right, let's go ahead and put this on. So in the package, um, I don't think it does it much justice to the shine, but this is very true to color how it looks in person. I'm just gonna take out the little applicator. Looks pretty good, and it feels like a lip gloss. <laughs> I got a lot of product right here. So I am noticing it's a little bit messy <laughs> as far as how I'm applying it, but it's very workable. So right from the start, I'm noticing that it's very, um, like it was kind of messy, like it's trying to get out of the lines or if I don't want to apply it like exactly even or on the brush, it wasn't exactly even. It was kind of like bunching up up here and I'm having to drag it down which is fine, I'm just really curious, like, is it going to set? And it did let me work with it for quite a while. You guys saw me, like, messing around, trying to spread it evenly. And even now, I just put it on, and it's, I feel like it's almost kind of, like, tightening and setting. So I'm going to give this, I don't know, it's a weird feeling. Like, it could definitely tell there's something on my lips, but um, I don't know, maybe that's, like, the feeling of it going from lips, like a liquid lipstick to kind of a stained-on lipstick. I don't know, I'm going to check back in about... 30 seconds to a minute and I'll let you know what happened. <laughs> okay, it's been about 30 seconds now and I'm really feeling it just kind of like sink in and it feels just kind of like dense um, and I'm wondering, it almost has that feeling like it would transfer on something, so no, it didn't even transfer on my hand and it's only set for just a few seconds. I'm thinking this would be the kind of product that you need to put on, let it sit for a couple minutes and then come back and see what's up. So here's what we look like right now. And I'll see you in a couple minutes. All right, so I went ahead and checked in the mirror as it was drying, and I noticed that from kind of like rubbing my lips together, I'm not gonna do it again now because it's still setting, but um, from rubbing my lips together, it kind of seemed like it stained more of the outer parts of my lips. So I just went ahead and put a little teeny bit more in the middle, and I'm trying not to rub my lips together because it does seem like it's like, it's like a paint, like you paint this on, and then it's gonna stay that way. So if you rub your lips together, it kind of will settle on the outer parts. So definitely we just put it on. I don't know, I doubt that you're supposed to do two coats, but um, just make sure that you like literally paint it on and maybe hold your lips like ah, for a couple minutes while it's setting. So it has been about four-ish minutes um, and I definitely think that it's coming off on my lips the same color as it is in the tube. You can definitely like really, really sheer this out. Um, I think I have like a medium, like mid type, I don't know, swatch I guess on my lips. But it almost feels like it's getting really dry and it's like my lips are kind of sticking together like like a stain. Almost like I'm wondering if it's going to ball up or transfer in my hand. So let me just do a quick 
little transfer. It didn't transfer at all on my hand. I've also got a white glove, so I think that would probably be the best way to test the transfer. Mm. Absolutely nothing transferred off, so that's really cool. It does start, it does feel like kind of like my lips are trying to be dry. So I'm also going to go ahead and take my little lip balm, see if this comes off. Nothing on the lip balm. It definitely has so much of a better lip feel with the lip balm on. So I would probably bring this with me, just have it um, after it's set to just put on. I do feel like it's, um, like I, I'm not noticing necessarily the shimmeriness of the lipstick. But um, I like this so far. I think it's a little, little bit um, temperamental in the very beginning. Like, you got to put this on right because this, this is probably not going to come off at all. And since I had the lip balm on, let me just do another little swatch test or transfer test. Yeah, it's still not coming off. So that's really, really cool. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and check back at the end of my night, which is like three hours away. And I'll let you know what, what's going on with it and what I think.